Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. How's it going? I hope everyone's having a great day on this Wednesday evening. I was going to say Wednesday morning, but it's like, it's almost six o'clock. So we're far away from PM. So we're far away from morning as can be. So, um, anyways, you guys, I have a new to me vendor. This is Traverse City, um, Wax Co. I have not purchased them. I don't think I've melted anything from them. If I've had anything, it's been in a D stash and I don't think I end like, I just, I don't think I've melted anything from Traverse and, um, my beautiful friend, Chris from Dazzling Sense with Chris. Hi, I love you. Um, she just has like fallen in love with Traverse and and so now I had to go in and, and see what it's all about. So I didn't get a lot. Um I've learned my lesson with buying a whole bunch of wax from a wax vendor. I have I don't know if it's gonna work in my home. I don't know if I'm gonna like their wax or the performance. Like I don't know. Um but I you know I, I got some stuff. So if you guys want to know what I got, keep on watching. Um, okay, you guys, so I am drinking uh, Four Roses. It's back here somewhere. Oh, right here. Four Roses, single barrel, um, easy peasy, really nice one. Um, this is barrel strength, 55.2%. So let's see here. got a little little kiki kick so that's what I'm drinking um, I like it um, I don't know what's for dinner yet um, I might just do a char char charcuterie board and I might just do that I'm not sure so I just figured let me pour something and we'll roll with it anyways okay you guys um, I've opened the box. I haven't smelled anything. She loaded me up with some samples. Thank you so much. Super excited about that. So in this bag is my, um, I was going to say my inventory. Um, this is not an inventory. This is my um, <gasps> words. What is this? What is this called? Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to try it. My proof of purchase. I'm channeling Chris. Because <laughs> she forgets words a lot. And so do I. So. Um, okay, you guys. I've got these beautiful samples. I am so excited to sniff these. I can already smell some yumminess. So let's just sniff. Snip, snip. So this is um, strawberry sugar cookies. Um, oh wow, that's very strawberry. And this is a nice strawberry. This is like I get the sugar cookie, but the strawberries are are like a macerated strawberry. So it's almost like you're using macerated strawberry like real strawberry in your sugar cookie flavoring. Kayla. I heard strawberry. What is this called when someone sends you this? Invoice. <laughs> yeah, I said inventory list. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> What's the <gasps> It's good, huh? I love this. I'm a sucker for strawberry. Anything oh, strawberry. I know. 
I guess you can have it. <gasps> Yay! His mom's the best. There's mm. more than one though, right? No, it's the sample. Oh. That's fine. Oh, I no, 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 I have plenty of strawberry. You keep it. You sure? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure I'm sure. Okay, um, next one is Boom Boom. So I'm sure that's gonna be um, Boom Boom. And that's Boom Boom, wow. I literally feel like I just lo lathered myself with, lathered myself up with Boom Boom lotion and I'm smelling it in my hands. That's pretty freaking wow. Okay. I see you. Um, okay, next is Green Apple Bombs. This one may not be a go for me. This reminds me, this reminds me of like a green apple candy. Oh, Kayla. There you go. You can see if you want this one. Wow, that, that is candy. I'm not, I used to like this scent when I was, like this type of scent when I was younger and I cannot do it. I can't do it. This is green apple bombs. It just reminds me of like a green apple, like a sour candy green apple candy. Whoa! <laughs> I like this. Okay, you can have it. Should I just stay on um, standby? No, go away. Um, next bite one me. is bite me. I love you. you. Bite me. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Bite me. Okay, this I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting a fruit. I feel like I'm getting like maybe a strawberry lemon. Uh, yeah, like a strawberry lemon, like a margarita or a sorbet. This is very sorbet sherbet type of type of vibe that I'm getting. So. Um, I don't know if this is one I will keep and melt because it's not my, not my vibe. Next one is wild berry cream cheese frosting. This one I have a feeling I might like. You had me at cream cheese frosting. It's my favorite frosting in the world. Oh wow. 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 I get that frosting. This is like I opened up, I opened up like a container of, of homemade cream cheese frosting. So I do a um, few times a year, I make um, homemade sourdough cinnamon rolls and I do cream cheese frosting and then I'll just cover it and, but like when it's, it's a, that whiff. And this wild berry with that, I might have to get more of this. No, not I might have, I will get more of this. I like this one a lot. All right, next one is cranberry rhubarb jam. Ooh, I'm intrigued by this. There you go. I am intrigued. Wow, cranberry rhubarb jam. Huh. Interesting. This is this is giving me like like it's fall and you want something fruity but you don't want the apple and it to you in your in your brain it's too early for pumpkin but you want this um I don't know why this is giving me fall vibes. I, I kind of like this one too. Interesting, okay. So far so good, I am excited. Um, this is cucumber and aloe. This might make a really good bathroom scent or who knows, throughout the whole house on a super, super hot thousand degree day.
I don't know. It's not as, it's not like the watery freshness that, that I had pictured in my head. So, uh, it's not, it's not bad. So this is me once again, and I say this a lot, like when you have this idea in your head of what it's going to smell like or what you expect it to smell like, and it's not that, then you have to kind of like stop, get off that road and get on the road that the vendor's trying to get you on, if that makes any sense. This kind of reminds me of, um, so my husband, his aunt and uncle own a home, uh, they own a cabin, live in a cabin up in the Santa Cruz mountains. And we used to go up there a couple times a year. Um, the whole family would go up once a year in July, we'd call it Camp Runamuck. And like the, all the kids, like we would have like tents all up and down the mountain of their house. Like it would just, it was camp run amok. But this remind, this kind of, to me, smells like the inside of the cabin. I'm starting to pick up a little bit more of the cucumber. Like that's starting to come out now. But it's giving me like, it's giving me like the inside of the cabin for some reason, inside of their home. Interesting. I, I like it. There's a, there's a calmness to it. And maybe, I don't know if that's a scent memory for me, like a, like a happy memory, or if it's just the cucumber and the aloe is, is exuding this calmness, but that's what I'm getting with that. Um, okay, last of the samples. That was a lot of samples. Thank you so much for including those. Um, I can see why Chris says that she, like the samples are fantastic because then she knows what to go in for next time. So a hundred percent appreciate that. Um, next one is electric plum. Okay. I'm picking up on the plum. Is there lemon in here again? I feel like I'm picking up like a lemon or a key lime. There's a sip, there's a lemon lime in here. There has to be an electric plum. There has to be. I feel like that's what I'm picking up. Um, I'm, I pick up a little, I, I'm picking up a different fruit. I can't say like, Plum is not one that I usually smell in scent, so I can't differentiate it from anything else. I can't, like, I can't smell it and go, yep, that's plum. Um, but I can with a lemon lime, and I feel like that's what I'm getting in here is the lemon. There's a lemon lime with this plum. I don't know what the scent notes, but that's, there you go. Um, okay, so I got bags, you guys, and some of them I got, I think I got doubles of some of them, but I really tried to go with a good range of scents so that I could really get a good idea of what works. And I really should have, um, oh, I got more than I realized. I really should have unwrapped this before I came on air. So sorry about that. Um, so while I'm unwrapping this, have you guys ordered from Chowders before? How long do you cure it? Do you let it cure? Do you melt it right away? Um, and I'm assuming there's shapes in here. Do you cut the shapes? What's your favorite warmer to put them in? I mean, I, these are all questions. I mean, acquiring mine, knowing's half the battle, GI Joe. Okay, I have three more to unwrap. So let me try and hurry up and do that because, sorry for the noise, three, two, uno, muy bien. Okay, um, let's just, I don't think I got, I did not get any 
any repeats. Okay, so first ones first, you guys. This is Blackberry Marshmallow Fireside. So sweet blackberries, roasted marshmallow, and smoldering embers. Oh, you guys know me. I love smokiness. Um, I love marshmallow fireside. I love fruity. I love bakery. Oh, these shapes are so cute. So like would I cut this in half or would I just put one, one shape, one cube per, one cube per, let a girl know. Oh, that's nice. So absolutely pick up, picking up on the blackberry. It's more, it's more sweet than I thought it was going to be only because of the, the smoldering embers. This is kind of giving me, um, like, um, lush during Christmas time, they have, what's it called? Snow fairy or angel fairy or something like that. I have a bottle up in my, up in my bathroom. It's pink, but I'm kind of getting that kind of vibe with this. And it, I mean, obviously it's the blackberries that's giving me that vibe, but I like this. This is, this is nice. It's not overly, overly sweet on the blackberry. And I have a feeling maybe on warm, the smoldering embers will come out more. Um, but once again, I don't know. So let me know how long I need to cure this, please. Um, next one is one that Chris highly, highly just went over the top and raved about. This is called Frankenstein. This is buttery cupcakes, sweet pumpkins, um, crushed pecans, and vanilla bean. Excited to smell this. The bar is set high with this one on sniffs. Ooh. Like, would I cut that in half or? Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. So, I'm absolutely picking up on a bakery note, a pastry note, a, a bready, doughy note. Um, I can't say that I'm picking up like pecans per se, but the blend of all of that together is just making a really good bakery. Um, oh man, that is, I see, I see why, I see why people rave about this one. That's really pretty. I'm excited to melt that. I have a feeling that on warm, that this is just going to shine. This is going to just come alive and be absolutely beautiful in my home. I'm super excited to melt that. Um, next one is pistachio and cream. Y'all know if I see pistachio, I gotta get it. This is pistachio, vanilla bean, and creamy almond. Oh. I'm excited. Mm. This is giving me. Oh, wow. Whoa. So in my head, I can't say I'm pick So in my head, we're getting ready to make a pistachio almond croissant custard bakery thing, right? And I have um, chopped up the almonds. I have toasted the almonds. Um, I have, or the pistachios. And so we have, we have the chopped up pistachios and the toast and toasted pistachios. And I have a cream and I've added some almond extract to that. And I'm just like, um, I've, I've, it, it's just, it's the, it's the insides of the bakery before the bakery. 
is what I'm getting. So this is a pistachio almond cream paste that's going to be added to a, a, a filled croissant, a, um, a breakfast cake. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I like that one. That's really, really nice. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. Um, I, there's no, there's no cakey, bready, pastry note, but the picture is, like I said, what I'm getting in my head is the, um, that, the filling, the a pistachio, almond, creamy, um, paste filling. I'm here for that. I love a beautiful almond croissant any day, all day, topped with powdered sugar. Yeah, I'm here for it. Next one is iced lemon cake. My most favorite iced lemon cake to date is from um, Sweet Two Cents. Um, Heather, it blew my socks off. So I'm always going to try an iced lemon cake. So had to try from Traverse City. This is sweet lemon, citrus zest, vanilla cake, and caramelized sugar. That's pretty. I would say that this is like, once again, I'm not picking up the, the cakiness is there, but this is not like a store bought. This is not a, um, a boxed kit. This is, you have, you went outside, you picked the lemons and you were zesting them and you have um, juiced them. You've added the sugar um, and that's going to be in your bowl. And in that bowl is the, um, the homemade vanilla cake batter. It has not been baked yet. This is not give me, it's, this is not give me baked iced lemon cake. This gives me, I worked my tushy off making all this by scratch and we're almost there. Yeah, it's very, I'm picking up so much more of the sugar and the lemon than I am the cake. It's not to say that when on warm, that that cake's not going to come out. That could very well be the case. So, excited to melt that one. We have four more, you guys. All right, might as well just stick with the citrus. This is key lime pie. So, juicy limes, citrus zest, sweetened milk, and graham cracker crust. I love graham cracker crust. And I have been craving key lime pie, lemon meringue pie, and coconut cream pie. I haven't had any, but I've been craving it. So. That's pretty. That is phenomenal. This is a key lime pie in your face. I get that graham cracker crust, which I 100% appreciate that there's enough in there to keep that key lime under control. Cause sometimes key lime pie scents, key lime cookie scents, like all of that, um, that key lime overpowers everything. And it, it can be headache inducing and just, um, I don't want to say a turn off, but not the vibe I'm looking for. So I usually have to sometimes have to add um, like a bakery vanilla note. I, uh, I appreciate that this is controlled. She controlled the amount of lemon that, the amount of key lime that was going in here. Um, very well balanced, especially with that milk, beautifully done and the graham cracker crust, beautifully done, like perfect. 
perfect, perfect. Um, it's not overly tart. It's not overly sour. Um, it is perfect key lime pie. Love it. All right, you guys, last three. Why not? Um, this is hot pink lime. So sugared berries, zesty citrus, bergamot, and oak moss. I'm not sure. I have no expectations with this one. Especially with the oak moss. I have no idea what to expect. That's not what I expected. I am getting a drink. I'm getting a bougie drink. Like almost. <sighs> I feel like it's got to be the oak moss that's that's giving me this herbal green vegetal note, but I it's almost like I have like a jalapeno berry mojito is that's like that's what's coming to my head like there's there's a greenness to it um oh i really like this one i really like this one like perfect for a summer day perfect when you want something fruity but not this is not like scratchy or headache inducing to me i think because of like this oak moss is what it's absolutely giving me i i know there's ha no jalapeno in there but it's giving me uh, there's no mint but it's giving me that green, that green vegetal herbal vibe in a drink. God, I really like this one. I am absolutely going to be picking up more of this when I see it. That is fun. That is fun. Okay. That is fun. Love it. Um, okay. Next one is um, strawberry sugar, strawberry sugar milk, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. So, sweet strawberries, buttery cupcakes, fruity frosting, and sugar milk. Oh wow. First and foremost, I don't get what's pictured. I don't, I don't get this. That's not what I, that's not the picture that popped in my head. What popped in my head is the strawberry Nesquik Bisquik um, syrup and milk. So when I was pregnant, with both my girls, um, I craved graham crackers and strawberry milk, especially in the evening. Like I had to have strawberry milk all the time, mostly in the evenings. Oh my gosh. And that's what it's giving me. It's literally just a, a beautiful scent memory for me of when I was pregnant with the girls and it's strawberry milk to me. I'm not picking, I'm not picking up like frosting or cake or anything like that. It's, that's not to say it's not there, but for me, the scent I'm picking up, that's, that's the picture that's popping in my head. Oh, I, wow. Oh, I like this one. That's it's so and it's soft. It's not overly sweet because of that milk. That milk is perfect in here with the strawberries and it's it's just it's perfect. It's not overly strawberry. It's very strawberry, but it's not um 
I don't know how else to describe it. Just think, just think the strawberry syrup and heavy milk, full fat milk. Yeah. All right, you guys, last one. This is orange coconut cupcake. So orange peel, citrus zest, creamy coconut, and buttercream frost. I'm excited for this one. Once again, like I said, I've been craving coconut cream pie. And oranges and coconut and oranges and cream, yeah. That's pretty. I would say to me, in the bag, on cold, it's giving me almost body care vibe. It's giving me like a really nice um, orange coconut. It, it's orange and coconut, absolutely. But I'm not, I can't really tell you that I'm picking up on the buttercream frosting. There's a creaminess to it and maybe that's, maybe that's why the picture in my head is lotion or body care. It's really pretty. It's a pretty orange. It's not overly orange. It's a, it's a really nice sweet orange. And that coconut's really well balanced. They, they're, they're like this. They're like this. They're not, they're not fighting. One's not trying to get in front of the other. That's really, that's really pretty. This is also one that I, I would put this in every single warmer. I would put this throughout my whole house. Um, I, I think your house would just smell amazing. It would, I, this is not one that people would walk in and be like, Oh, what do you, what did you bake? Where's the cake? It would be like, Oh, your house smells really good. Um, yeah. Orange and coconut. I like that. So orange peel, citrus zest, creamy coconut and buttercream frosting. So yeah, there's no, there's no bakery note in here. It's just the buttercream frosting and that's to make it just this really nice creamy. So it, I'm not, once again, I'm not picking up gourmand. Someone's not going to walk in and be like, what did you bake? I, I feel like someone's going to walk in and be like, your house smells freaking good. And you would be like, yeah, I know. Right. All right, you guys, that is it. I am all done. Um, I filled, filmed as much as I can film today. And I've got a couple more boxes to open and film for tomorrow, but it's not happening today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, all the questions I asked when I was unwrapping, please let a girl know anything about Traverse, um, how long you, um, you let it cure. Do you melt it right away? Is it one shape per warmer? Do you cut it in half? Uh, let me know. So that is all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with me and the comments and the likes and just the, um, the support. I truly appreciate it and, um, love you guys. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.